There's this theory that gets talked about a lot around the Snow Tracks World Headquarters. It's something we joke about and something we always try to avoid ourselves. But it's a universal theory that applies to everyone at some point, including us. We call it compound ignorance. In simpler terms, it's the state of not knowing that you didn't know. As hard as we try to predict the future around here, once in a while a sled comes along that we didn't even think to want. The Renegade XRS is one of those sleds. When I think about the concept, it makes so much sense it's annoying. We love the XRS package and we love the Renegade. Why didn't we think to suggest the two be combined? Good thing for all of us, Skidoo has big minds thinking up great ideas day in and day out. It's hard not to oversimplify this sled because the concept itself is so simple. Take the XRS package with its ultra high-end shocks, race-inspired ergonomics, and replica good looks, and add a 137-inch skid that provides increased traction, more stable handling, and even better ride quality than its 120-inch counterpart. Simple, yes, but history is chock full of examples where combining two great ideas did not result in a superior product. Is the Renegade XRS just another spork? At its core, this sled is based on the ultra-popular and well-established XS-RS chassis and bodywork. Skidoo set a whole new standard with this sled and it has continued to define precision handling ever since. most rider forward seating position, nearly perfect mass centralization, and an incredibly low center of gravity are the cornerstones of any XS. But this platform is not without its shortcomings. Since day one, we've felt that, either due to an extremely rider forward design or a simple geometric trade-off in the name of precision handling, all Rev XS sleds have suffered from heavy steering and overly nervous handling, especially on frozen or hard packed surfaces. There will always be a trade off, but once in a while, great minds come up with great ideas that can reduce the level of compromise for both sides. Enter Skidoo's new RAS2 front end. RAS stands for Response Angle Suspension which is just a fancy acronym to describe a new 12 millimeter taller spindle that raises the outside end of an all new A-arm by the same amount. The result is even further reduced bump steer and a 38 millimeter taller roll center that's far closer to the actual center of gravity of the sled. This all adds up to a sled that stays straighter in the bumps feels less nervous in a straight line, and, if you can believe it's possible, stays even flatter in the corners. Further benefits include increased strength, lighter weight, and ultra-premium style. But what about the downsides? What are the trade-offs with RAS2? There aren't any. When you start with the most precise handling sled in the world, improvements don't have to come with compromise. This doesn't necessarily mean this sled is now perfect, while dramatically improved, those heavier than we'd like steering and nervous handling traits are still present. This isn't a sled you can ride with one hand at 90 miles an hour, but it's definitely a big step in the right direction. A 137 by 1.5 lug ripsaw track provides more than enough traction for on and off trail riding, and standard XRS ergonomics and features like wider running boards, a tall narrow seat, Brembo brakes, and the ultimate in snowmobile suspension, KYB40s round out what we feel is the most civilized race replica package on the snow. At the end of the day, all the fancy bells and whistles don't mean squat if they don't combine to provide a stellar riding experience. So what's our opinion of this sled in the real world? Our opinion is simple, it rocks. It's less nervous than any Rev XS I've ever ridden. It's more versatile for all different kinds of riding. It's 137 inch R motion skid frame rides even better than its 120 inch counterpart. And your ego's gonna purr like a kitten thanks to its ultra manly good looks. In a world of lookalikes and posers, the Renegade XRS offers something few others do. Whether you're boondocking, riding through ditches or groomed trails, this sled delivers an overall riding experience that matches its premium price tag. We're always searching for snowmobile perfection. 
It's what we do. With each passing season come new ideas and new technology, but the search still continues. How did we miss this great idea? I have no idea. We just didn't know that we didn't know. But now we do, and we know it's good. If you like this video, post a comment and tell us what you think. Then click on this link to subscribe to Snowtracks TV here on the YouTube channel.